to the uh, safety and body structure tent. My name is Eric Dehoff. I'm the project leader for vehicle safety. I've been with Honda almost 20 years, mainly doing crash simulation. Today, we're going to explore the body structure and, and safety features virtually um, using the help of this 3D model over here and it's my favorite PowerPoint. Um, so, again, as you saw, yet, heard yesterday, we are a unibody pickup truck. But the difference between the previous generation and this, this body is safer, is stronger, stiffer, and safer than the previous generation. So how are we safer? Again, for a IHS, small overlap test, we've added some construction in the front. We still have our advanced compatibility engineered front end, or ACE front end. You can see the familiar elephant nose. We have a hot stamp door ring to protect the cabin area and of course we have the three bolt floor that helps dissipate energy through the floor. So let's, uh, so I mentioned that here, so let's talk small IHS small overlap test. Free Research Line did not have to meet this. I have a video here showing the uh, small overlap simulation. It's using software called Real Impact that Honda co-developed with 3D Excite that renders our simulation uh, realistic. So you'll see here is that it goes into the wall at 64 kph, wheel brakes, fractures. Now you see the ACE front end absorbing energy and the hot stamp door ring keeping the cabin integrity. Same thing with the down view, absorb energy, maintain the cabin structure. This is a ride inside. So that's the ice and small overlap. We are expecting to get uh, good ratings for that. So Honda likes to go above and beyond for our customers, so we invented this cargo retention test. What we do with this is we put 1,100 pounds in the bed, we accelerate the vehicle, actually just the body, to 20 Gs, which simulates a 30 mile per hour front crash. The goal with this is to keep all the cargo in the bed, not intruding into the cabin. And the way we do that is we work really hard to reinforce these joints in this construction between the bed and the cabin wall. So again, our goal with this is to keep the 1,100 pounds and not have any of this tear out, fail, and the cargo come in. So again, I have another video of the simulation. This is 1,100 pounds of cargo in the back. It's accelerated backwards and the uh, cargo intrudes. You can see the cargo is maintained in the back. The wall cabin body structure stays intact and does not go into the, uh, the cargo doesn't go into the cabin. The down view of it, and here's from the inside, so you can see how everything is maintained around the edge. So it, it would come in, it looks like it would come in far enough to touch the rear seat though. Uh, just. I'll go back here. So if you look at the down view, I'll show you where this seat's at. Somebody asked that question. <coughs> So the back of the seat is right there, the front of the seat. So, so it's just tapping. Or just tapping, yeah. Interesting. So, <laughs> so, uh, so again, with this unibody construction, we are anticipating five-star, five-star front in or in-cap score and IHS Top Safety Pick Plus. That's what they're good for the small overlap test. Plus, because we apply Honda Sensing, we get IHS Top Safety Pick Plus, which nobody else in the class will have. And why only four star for rollover? Actually, four star is really it's good because <laughs> it's about it's about CG height okay. for rollover. So SUVs and pickup trucks are inherently bad for high CG height. Okay. So actually, four star is actually probably one of the better ratings to roll over. For that category? For this category, yes. And this, of course, shows our Honda sensing application and our driver assist that nobody else, uh, none of our other competitors uh, apply or offer.